Voyager just made a terrifying new discovery after 45 years. The farthest man-made object to travel through space, the Voyager 1 is one of humanity's greatest marvels. It has now reached a distance of over 23 billion kilometers away from our home world, crossing the heliosphere, which is the last known boundary of our solar system. It's been 45 years since its launch, and the journey has seemingly been pleasant so far. But 45 years is a very long time, for us humans at least. A lot can change in half a century, but what's really rattling the greatest minds on Earth is that the veteran spacecraft has been sending back some unusual data. What lies in the unknown void beyond our solar system? Is there an external force that's affecting these malfunctions? Or has the Voyager 1 come to the early end of its lifespan? The twin Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are exploring territory where nothing from Earth has flown before. Since their launches in 1977, they have traveled farther away from Earth and the Sun than Pluto. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, a region between stars filled with material ejected by the death of nearby stars millions of years ago. Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space on November 5, 2018, and scientists are hopeful that further study will reveal more about this region. Both spacecraft are still transmitting scientific information to the Deep Space Network. The exploration of Jupiter and Saturn was the primary mission. After making a series of groundbreaking discoveries there, such as active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and the intricacies of Saturn's rings, the mission was extended. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune and remains the only spacecraft to have visited those outer planets. The current mission of the Adventurers, the Voyager Interstellar Mission, or VIM, will explore the outermost edge of the Sun's domain and beyond. Voyager 1 performed flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn's largest moon, Titan. NASA had to choose between doing a Pluto or Titan flyby or exploring the moon. The moon was more important because it was known to have a big atmosphere. It was the first probe to provide detailed images of the moons of the two gas giants, and it studied the weather, magnetic fields, and rings. Like its sister craft Voyager 2, the spacecraft's extended mission is to find and study the regions and boundaries of the outer heliosphere and begin exploring the interstellar medium. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross the heliopause and enter interstellar space. In 2012, Voyager 1 began to experience a third tsunami wave of coronal mass ejections from the Sun. This wave continued until at least December 15, 2014, proving that the probe is indeed in interstellar space. Voyager 1's impressive resilience was further demonstrated in late 2017, when the Voyager team tested the spacecraft's trajectory correction maneuver, or TCM thrusters, for the first time since 1980. This test, which enabled the mission to be extended by two to three years, was the first time the TCM thrusters had been fired since they were used during the Voyager 2 launch in 1980. It is expected that Voyager 1's extended mission will continue until about 2025, when its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, will no longer be able to supply enough electricity to power its scientific instruments. Voyager 1, which is continuing its journey beyond our solar system, is now sending back strange data that is confounding its engineers. NASA said that the probe seems to be working fine, but the readouts from its Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, don't match the movements and orientation of the spacecraft. This could indicate that the craft is confused about its location in space. The AACS is essential for Voyager to transmit NASA data about its surrounding interstellar environment. This is because it keeps the craft's antenna pointing right at our planet. Suzanne Dodd, a project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said in a statement back in May 2022, a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. Attitude control is the process of controlling the orientation of an aerospace vehicle regarding an inertial frame of reference or another entity, such as the celestial sphere, certain fields, and nearby objects. 
To achieve controlled attitude, sensors need to measure the current attitude, and actuators need to apply the torques needed to change the attitude. Algorithms must communicate with the actuators to instruct them on what actions to take. Based on the current attitude as measured by the sensors and the desired attitude, the AACS controls the orientation of the spaceship. It makes sure that the high-gain antenna is pointed precisely at Earth so that it can send data home. All signs point to the AACS still working correctly, but the telemetry data it's sending back is wrong. If the data doesn't show any state the AACS could be in, it may look as if it was randomly made. No onboard fault protection systems had been triggered, which would be expected to activate if the issue was causing a serious problem. This suggests that the issue is not causing a serious problem. Voyager 1's signal has not gotten weaker, which means that the high-gain antenna is still pointed at Earth. The team will keep watching the signal closely to see if the bad data is coming from the AACS or another system that sends telemetry data. Until the team has a better understanding of the issue, they cannot say for certain if it will affect how long the spacecraft will be able to collect and send science data. NASA said in a statement, quote, the team will continue to monitor the signal closely as it continues to determine whether the invalid data is coming directly from the AACS or another system involved in producing and sending telemetry data. Until the nature of the issue is better understood, the team cannot anticipate whether this might affect how long the spacecraft can collect and transmit science data. Suzanne Dodd further reveals, a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We're also in interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the AACS, our team will find it. Dodd said that the team might not find the source of the anomaly and might just learn to live with it. If they can figure out what's wrong, they may be able to fix it with software changes or by using one of the spacecraft's extra hardware systems. In 2017, engineers found signs of degradation in Voyager 1's primary thrusters, so they switched to another set of thrusters that had been used for planetary encounters. Although the thrusters had not been used for 37 years, they worked. Voyager 1's twin, Voyager 2, which is currently 12.1 billion miles or 19.5 billion kilometers from Earth, is still functioning properly. Both Voyager spacecraft are the only ones that have collected data in interstellar space. People understand the heliosphere better when they get information from this area. The heliosphere is a diffuse barrier around the planets in our solar system that is created by the sun. Each spacecraft produces approximately four fewer watts of electrical power per year, which significantly limits the number of systems the craft can run. The mission engineering team has decided to focus on power for science instruments and important systems instead of less important systems and heaters. The science instruments on the two spaceships are still working, and the team is trying to keep them operating past the year 2025. The science team will continue to make the most of the data coming down from the craft while the engineering team continues to work on the mystery presented by the ship. Engineers believe that Voyager 1 started transmitting its health and status telemetry through the dead computer after receiving a bad command from another onboard computer. This would imply that there is a problem with the computer of the famous spaceship, but mission managers don't think it's a threat to the long-term health of the vehicle. They're still interested in knowing exactly what is going on inside Voyager 1. Dodd said in a statement, quote, so we're cautiously optimistic, but we still have more investigating to do. Last year, a team of researchers said that the spacecraft had found a persistent hum of interstellar gas, or plasma waves. Dodd said it is possible that the team will never uncover the source of the current Voyager 1 mystery, and will have to learn to live with it. They can send a software update or use one of the redundant hardware systems to resolve the issue if they can determine the problem. However, at this time, it is unclear what caused this issue. If NASA doesn't find out what's wrong, this might be added to the long list of things we don't know about the great beyond. The true cause of the mysterious malfunction may never be known, which makes this issue particularly interesting. When we do find out, 
we will be able to build satellites that are equipped with these features, which will help prevent these issues. So, what do you think? What is the source of this issue? Is there an external force intervening with the data? Or are they just malfunctions? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Space Age.